Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Walmart recently made a statement that they will no longer sell sporting rifle ammunition or handgun ammunition at any of their stores. Through this, I learned that Walmart has a big share of the ammunition sales throughout the U.S. I, I didn't know that they sold as much as they did, but they, they started throwing statistics out there and that Walmart sells a ton of ammunition. And they're no longer going to do that. They also mentioned that they will not sell handguns in their stores located in Alaska. From what I understand, that's where they sold handguns in Alaska and that's it. And they're not going to do that anymore. Now, it's interesting because they also said they do not want people open carrying in their stores. And so the question that I have is if Walmart is a, a company that is out for profit, they're, they're clearly a for profit company, why are they shutting away so many legal gun owners by not offering ammunition? Now, every Walmart that I've been into, I, I, I see this huge store with a big grocery section and clothes and, and uh, you know, the toy section. And in the sporting goods section, there's this little ammunition counter, right? And they would sell that ammunition half the time you had to beg somebody to get a key to open up the cabinet. But, but they did this and the, the prices were pretty discounted at, at Walmart. They sold Federal, Tool, Remington, you know, just general ammunition. That's gone. They're not going to do that anymore. They basically said, up yours to the 2A community. We don't even need your business anymore. And furthermore, the fact that they said no open carry in here makes me wonder if they are going to supply additional security at their stores because they said they are doing this for the safety of their employees and patrons and their customers. What are they going to do above and beyond to provide security? And if the answer is nothing, it really confuses me why Walmart would take these steps. They are a for-profit business. They have a large market share of their little ammo counter of the ammunition sales in the U.S. And yet they're saying, you know, up yours, we don't need your business anymore. Now, they upset the gun community in 2015 when they said, we'll no longer sell assault rifles. That's their word. So they took their sport rifles out of the cabinets and they said, we'll still sell hunting rifles and shotguns and, and ammunition, but no longer those. Also, we are going to only sell to people that are over the age of 21, both firearms and ammunition. And, and people were upset by that. But the fact that they're a grocery store and that they sell clothes and toys and, and you know, garden supplies and everything, they weren't calling for boycott. They just say, you know what, whatever, Walmart, I wouldn't buy a sporting rifle from you anyways. This here, saying that we're not going to sell handgun ammunition because we're worried that one of you are going to shoot up our stores. Well, let me tell you something. Yes, there have been shootings in Walmart. Yes, there have been problem people walking in Walmart. Those are not the people you're selling ammo to. Okay, you are selling ammo to people like me and people like you and other people who are, are target shooting, who are, you know, enjoying the, the firearm sport. They are competing. They're, they're doing all kinds of things. The criminals, this will do absolutely nothing to stop them. And the, the, the criminals, the, the illegal people, they're going to carry their guns in Walmart. They're still going to go in there and shoot up the, the place. They're still going to go in there and, and create havoc. And what happens is, in times like this, they say, well, we didn't go far enough. Well, not only did you not go far enough, you went too far because you are attempting attempting to disarm law-abiding citizens. And, and that that is where the problem is. All right, so you have a right to not sell ammo. You can do as you please. But don't come complaining when a bad thing happens and you say, well, we, we thought this would take care of it. One last point of this. Much like Dick's Sporting Goods, Walmart not only made these moves, but they are also, the CEO is also out there making statements saying that we are hoping that other companies follow our lead. Like, we're Walmart. We're, we're the biggest. We're hoping that other companies follow our lead. That is what drove Dick's Sporting Goods down to the ground. Dick's Sporting Goods, that's supposed to be a, a, a sporting goods store, is nothing more than a, a, an overpriced clothing store. They're, they're going down. I mean, they are going down quick. And now Walmart is losing, in my opinion, a large market of pro-gun people. Like, why would you shut 
down the pro-gun people. That, is, that makes no sense to me. And that's what they're doing. They could get away with it in 2015 to a degree, but I think this one really puts the dagger in the backs of all of us. And we're just going to say, you know what, Walmart? We can get our bread and milk somewhere else. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.